Coping with stress is one of the most difficult things for many of us. No matter who we are, the realities of stress and the issues that arise from it are some of the most inhibiting things that we deal with. Not only that, but stress can be a dangerous enemy. They say that stress kills, and this can be taken quite literally. All of us deal with stress at one point in our lives or another, but it can be very easy for us to get overwhelmed by the stresses of daily life the older we get. Sometimes we are able to manage our stress in unhealthy ways by developing coping mechanisms that are less than ideal. Maybe we go out and have a cigarette or a few beers once in a while as a way to unwind and distress. Unfortunately, these types of coping mechanisms can easily turn into addictions that make it even more difficult for us to deal with the stresses that we encounter in our daily lives. For example, how is it going to be helpful to have a bad day and then dose yourself with alcohol, a thing that can actually cause your mood to be worsened over time? How is it going to help your financial struggles to get addicted to smoking cigarettes, then potentially developing illnesses due to this very addiction that can be costly and energetically and emotionally consuming? These unhealthy coping mechanisms are not solutions for stress, and in fact will ultimately contribute to your problems over time. Learning how to cope with stress in a healthy and responsible way is one of the surest ways to becoming the person that you want to be the most. We can all slip up sometimes and find ourselves indulging in things we shouldn't because it is rewarding in the moment. However, many of us fail to see how these behaviors will affect us in the long run and this can be very detrimental. To avoid making your stress and situation worse by dealing with stress in an unhealthy way, Coping with stress will guide you by giving helpful advice on how you can deal with your stress in a way that will help you to become more productive and confident as a result. We all have the capability to cope with stress. Some of us may need more help than others if something like clinical depression arises. However, even those with clinical depression can benefit from this guide. The strategies discussed in this book will help to equip anyone with the tools they need to become stronger and more independent people who are able to look their stressors in the face and discover that they are capable of taming the beasts that once made them feel helpless in their own lives. Many of us have heard about stress since we were children. Most of us have experienced it in some form or another, whether it is physical, mental, or emotional. Stress can make or break a person, and those who learn to cope with it in a healthy way are far better off than those who are easily overwhelmed by their circumstances and emotions. Stress can be one of the most dangerous things in the world. It can cause us to have physical ailments, lower our life expectancy and decrease the effectiveness of our immune systems. It can also leave us vulnerable to people who may be manipulative and who find it easy to prey upon people's emotions when they are under times of duress. Anyone can feel stressed out. We can all shoulder heavy burdens that can sometimes seem to weigh us down far more than we feel is fair. Stress is the weight of those burdens culminating into our bodies in an often physical way. It is the pain in our chests we feel when we are stricken by how heavy the weight we have to carry is. It is the sharp pain in your head you feel when you are having a conversation that you just don't feel heard in. It is the tightening of your muscles that you don't even notice when you find that things just are not going the way you wish they might. Stress can affect us in many ways, and it does. There is no denying how stressful it can be to have many demands placed upon you when sometimes you just don't know if you can or will be up to the task of performing in a way that proves successful. Many people are defeated by their stress. Many people become physically ill from their stress and are never able to find a way around it. Some people are even triggered into mental illness through their stress, because they may have a predisposition to the illness but being overwhelmed by their burdens is more than they can handle on an emotional, and sometimes physical, level. Stress affects us all because we all have goals in mind and obstacles that arise to prevent us from achieving those goals. We all have to try to think outside the box and find unconventional solutions to issues that we don't always anticipate facing. Most of us are comfortable and often expect that comfort to last, so when something goes wrong it really throws us for a loop. Others of us have been forced to work hard from day one and are never secure in the things that they have accumulated, 
and so the insecurity of knowing that the things they work for may not last can cause significant strain. Whatever type of stress you may be more prone to, there are solutions for you. You don't have to resort to negative coping mechanisms or things that will ultimately make it more difficult for you to achieve your goals. Coping with stress will help to guide you away from these negative coping mechanisms so you might be able to start your life anew with solutions to issues you may not have even known you have. Biologically speaking, stress is a response that we inherited from our ancient ancestors. Stress is something that was a call to action. If we found ourselves in a situation that could result in either life or death, a stress response would be triggered and we would either fight or run away. Sometimes though, there is also the deer in headlights response. Sometimes, the stress is overwhelming and a decision can't be reached right away. In that time span, things freeze up. We find ourselves locking in an effort to figure out the best course of action to take next. People who are unable to reach a decision in time ultimately find that they are losing out because of it. The stress response can either save us or destroy us. And in today's day and age where our threats are far more modern and require us to be on the ball at all times, ultimately, stress is far more often our destroyer. Our ancient ancestors were able to recognize that their stresses were activated as they attempted to survive. They understood that if they were feeling pressure or stress about something, it was because if they were not able to meet the demands placed upon them, they, or the people they cared most about, could die. Survival is a serious business. It's not so different in today's day and age. We are still expected to provide for our families and to take care of ourselves. We are expected to hold a job and pay rent and buy our food. We are meant to know that if we don't follow the rules, we will lose our privileges and freedoms. All of these things are stressful. Everything we do can be considered a means to an end, that end being survival. And when we catch ourselves slipping off the ball, that stress can come at us full force and bring us to a full stop. The deer in headlights effect. And if we find that we are in the headlights and unable to act, then everything begins to fall apart around us. But there is a solution. We do not need to be overwhelmed by stress. There are ways around it, and all of us are able to recognize that stress does not have to rule over us. In coping with stress, strategies for coping with these issues are readily available to anyone who is in danger of losing themselves to the stressful situations of everyday life. All of us can struggle, and many of us beat ourselves up about it. We may call ourselves weak and silly, but in actuality, we are so strong to be able to have made it as far as we did coming from the situations we've come from. Each of us has a different story, but with every story there is a struggle. No matter what your struggle may be, the stresses of the past can make the successes of the future seem far more challenging. However, it is possible to work through these issues and learn how to be the master of your domain. You can challenge the stress that challenges you and become a far more capable person for it. Each of us has the power to create the life we most want for ourselves. It can seem impossible, but by staying flexible and open to all possibilities, we can ultimately learn exactly what we need to make things work and find our own personal success stories. Stress doesn't have to be the be-all end all of your happiness. The second you learn how to put your goals first and your overwhelming emotions last, you will find that your stress does not have to stand in the way of you achieving your goals. We can learn how to master stress and become the people we want to be the most, and we can do it easily. Coping with stress provides a great template for anybody who wants to become more capable of learning how they operate in a way that will help them to create the life they most desire. If you are motivated and would love to begin a journey of self-discovery, don't hesitate. Coping with stress is full of useful advice for those who want to put the days of worrying behind them. We all deserve to live peaceful lives, and by reading this guide, you will be taking the first steps on your path to greatness. So don't hesitate, learn to cope with your stress, starting now. It can be discouraging to find that your goals have been thwarted unexpectedly. 
However, those who are prepared for the worst will be able to accept their defeats with dignity and find a way around those hitches in the plan. We all have stresses that creep up in our lives. Whether it is just an annoying coworker or something as major as being concerned for your survival, stress is a consuming force that can make us physically ill if left unchecked. Fortunately, there are many tips and tricks that you can use to turn stress into something that is both positive for you and something you can truly learn about yourself with. The fastest path to true power is to learn who you are, inside and out. The good and the bad will eye you in achieving your goals, so be honest with yourself about both your strengths and your weaknesses. If you do this, then learning how to manage your stress will be that much simpler. It is something all of us can do, so don't hesitate. Use coping with stress to start doing just that today.